team from Leisure Travel Vans. I got my friend Pete, the Pelican over there, and he's my friend. If you're adventurous, you're active. I have an active, adventurous motorhome for you. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 2024 Wonder Rear Twin Bed. You can carry all the things you may wanna do. You wanna go skiing, kayaking, mountain biking. You can carry everything inside this motorhome, including those very expensive electric bicycles. You don't have to put them on the back of the hitch. We can put them inside the motorhome. Can't wait to show you all this exterior storage. That's gonna be fun. We have sleeping for up to four people with the optional air mattress, seat belts for four. We have a dry bathroom, stand-up shower. So you've got lots of storage inside, lots of storage outside. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. We really appreciate everybody that watches our videos. Bang that bell. Come on, let's go inside and have a look at the 2024 Wonder Rear Twin Bed. You're going to absolutely love it. Come on in. Welcome inside the 2024 Wonder Rear Twin Bed model. Absolutely beautiful. Twin beds in the back. They'll pull together, make into a queen bed. We have a beautiful dry bathroom with a split shower and bathroom area, pull-out pantry, refrigerator, nice big galley area, four seat belts, sleeping up to four with the optional air mattress so you can take your friends along with you. I love the colors, nice soft colors. This is called Rift Oak. We have three different interior wood colors. We have white oak, rift oak, and mocha. And then this is a nice little option. This is called Fenix. These are white uppers, comes out of Italy. So this is a nice little option to have if you wanna separate the uh, uppers on the top with a different color. If you don't get that, then it would just be the standard wood color, this one being rift oak as well. We have two different countertops. This is concrete. We also have Antarctica. We also have three different ultra fabric colors. This is sand. We have dove and also clay hey and with all these different color options inside you when you go to the build in price you can build it and it'll show you the exact color so this right now is sand you could make that into uh, dove or you can make it into clay and you're going to love the floor as well it looks like ceramic tile it's actually linoleum absolutely fantastic it goes completely from front two back so there's no carpet or anything that you have to clean very easy to clean broom sweep it out out it goes makes RVing really simple you're gonna love this front area it's gonna become a dining room area workstation area playing cards got some great storage underneath this dinette area so pretty simple this is called our lagoon table so it's gonna lock in place here and then we're just gonna put the brand new tabletop for 2024 right into here and look at this, beautiful lagoon style table. As you can see, I can move in and out. I can easily move the table or I can lock it in place solid. So dinner for four, you can set it at different heights. I've got it a little high right now, but you can have dinner back into here. You can have dinner back into here with four people or you can sit back here. I like this because you can move the table out of the way. You know, if you want to move it over to here and then get up, go to the refrigerator, go to your pantry. You need to get something that they on the uh, grill, whatever you want to do. And you can come back and you can set it back in place. And here we go for dinner. So you can swivel it around into any direction that you want. So very nice, it's called the Lagoon Table. This is the brand new tabletop for 2024. One piece tabletop, a lot easier to move in and out. Plus you can take the Lagoon Table and move it to the back area and you have a breakfast in bed or use it as a computer desk. Okay, we're gonna go from a dinette area back into a bed area, which is really cool. You can see we've got our seat belts right here, right? So we have a seat belt here, seat belt here, seat belt here, seat belt here, four seat belts. Now we're just gonna make this into a beautiful super single bed first so remove the cushions this comes across very nice and we're gonna put the cushions back in place this slides across here I have a little filler cushion that goes in here I have another cushion that goes back over into this corner and then we're gonna just slide this cushion over to here we're gonna put our last cushion back up into here and look at this I've got a beautiful super single bed and I'm six foot one, maybe six two, but look how much room I have. Here, I'm gonna move it back this way. You'll probably see this better. So I got my head all the way over here. Still got lots of room back over there. It's actually a super single bed. Now, you can order the optional air mattress. The optional air mattress, two piece air mattress. Centerpiece fills in here, and then it covers this entire area. Grandkids, somebody a little bit shorter, they can sit on that, sleep on that side as well. So you can sleep up to 
four people. Very cool. So all of the Wonder Motorhomes have a built-in surge protector, which is just behind the driver's seat. You can see it right here. So this will be able to tell you what's going on with your surge protector if you have good power coming into the motorhome or if you have bad power. So that's the little monitor. So we have charging ports and 120 volt plugs on both sides of the seats. I love how both the driver and passenger seats turn in so we'll become part of the motorhome. You can see how we cut out the cab area here so I have easy access in and out of the motorhome and look at the flush floor all the way to the front of the cab i don't step down i'm not going to fall i'm not going to hurt myself got some storage area up here as well table mount goes right in there but easy access from the driver passenger seats back into the motorhome it becomes one with the motorhome and two great seats for watching tv as well kick back relax put my feet up I can watch TV right from the driver passenger seats. Super comfortable, love it. We have a great option, a WineGuard T4 satellite dish that goes up on the roof. So you can order that as an option. It does dish, direct, or bell. We got a nice little storage area on both sides here. And then this is kind of our little hidden area here for our electronics. So I got HDMI plugs, Nintendo Switch put that all in there a satellite receiver you can plug in here as well and we also have two inverted plugs that run off of the inverter you can watch tv play your video games dvd player whatever you want you can plug it in right here and of course we have a tv in the front and we have a tv in the back here and then we can just kind of hide it from the world so right over here we've got our wine guard 2.0 wi-fi booster and 4g capability so you can do that two different ways you can get a separate sim card put it into the wi-fi booster up on the roof the wine guard or you can pay for that service through uh, WineGuard as well and buy minutes. So that plugs in right there. We also have our TV signal amplifier right here, which will give uh, any signal, free uh, digital signal that, that we have in your area and you can uh, boost it right there. So Wi-Fi booster, TV antenna right there. Right over here, we have our multiplexing system. This runs the entire motorhome. So this is the main control panel. We have secondary control panels throughout the motorhome. You can also download the app on your smartphone and you can run everything off of your smartphone as well. Up on the home screen here, you can see my tanks. I'm full of propane, empty on black, empty on gray, and I have a little bit of fresh water, 20%. I can turn on my water pump there. Turn my lights on the outside awning lights on, outside awning lights off, master switch. So this can turn all all the lights on or off. I can turn them all off or I can turn them all on, but this is cool. I can go to individual lights and I can hold this and it'll dim the light or I can turn the light completely off. So this is our auto gen start. We've got auto gen start on all of our wonder motorhomes because the four kilowatt owning gas generator is standard. So what auto gen start does is you can set it for different things. You can set it by time. Some campgrounds only allow the generators to run from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. You can set it by time. You can also set it by temperature, which is really important. A lot of our customers have pets. Pets gonna be in the motorhome. They're gonna be out for the day doing some stuff, activities. Great thing, auto gen start, standard on all wonder motorhomes for 2024 and then going to this next section this is our temperature area so i can control different things control my furnace right now you can see we have our furnace on it's a little bit of a cool day here down here and then i can turn on my air conditioner don't forget that's the new truma 13,500 BTU air conditioner pin quiet set um, my fans as well if I just want to have the fans running in the motorhome and you would set the temperature just like you would at home for heat or for air conditioner multiplexing system very easy to use once again make sure you download the app for your smartphone and you can run it all off your smartphone so okay not part of the multiplexing system we have a few controls over here just above the door you can see we open it up if you order the optional 200 watt or 400 watt solar panels right here you can see our it's telling me my batteries are completely full right now don't forget that's 200 amps of lithium over here we've got our truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater controller right here so you've got eco comfort and then of course you have off over here we've got our 2000 watt inverter controller right here so this controls our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter make sure you got a pure sine wave inverter all over the toys we have need clean power this is if you are dry camping and you want to watch tv basically you want to switch your batteries over to 120 volts that's what this inverter does so you only want to use it when you're dry camping and then here you can see this little red light comes off and on that's the heaters for our lithium batteries lithium does not like the cold so when it gets too cold you want to make sure you turn this on and keep those batteries warm so make sure that that's only on when you're in cold weather probably 36 35 degrees fahrenheit and lower then boom, turn that on. A couple other little things on this side. We've got our 
window here, which is very nice. And we also have a nighttime shade with built-in folders here so I can have the shade down. And look at that, they hold in place goes back up. Also on the entrance door, I have a magnet there. So that of privacy at night. And I love our beautiful entrance door. And you can see here that our screen splits away. And then we've got some struts across here that give us some strength. So if you've got a pet, you don't have to worry about the pets going through the door. And I like this place here to hang your jackets up right here. And we've got a lit handle for getting in and out of the motorhome. One of our secondary controls for our multiplexing system, right? So you can control different things in this area of the motorhome. I actually have a place here for my shoes. You're gonna absolutely love that. So you don't have to put the shoes in the step well and you're not gonna fall over them when you're going out. Look up to this beautiful roof right here. We've got our beautiful opening skylight. Absolutely fantastic, lots of fresh air. If you have some bugs in the area, we can do this and still have fresh air coming in. If it's super hot and you still wanna have some fresh air, you can block it across this way or you can go half and half, but you're gonna absolutely love this beautiful skylight. Lots of fresh air. You can look at that beautiful view. Look at the palm trees up in the background. Here we've got our galley. Nice big galley area. I like this two burner spark ignition stove right here, fires right up built-in backsplash. Once again, we've got our awning style windows. Look at this, opens up, right? It's fresh air, pouring rain outside. I don't have to worry about that. Got our nighttime shades. Once again, we got built-in holders right there so you can have the window open. You don't have to worry about that coming across. And I absolutely love this counter extension. Absolutely fantastic. This is done in our concrete. We also have Antarctica, but look how big my galley is now. Nice big galley area big deep stainless steel sink and we've got a place to put our sink cover you can just put it in there right out of the way very nice i love the accessory channels we've got a place here for a paper towel some of our cooking utensils spices all done right here chrome faucet absolutely fantastic you can be uh doing work in the kitchen and pouring water without it pouring all over the countertop as well up here a place here for your spices and once again we've got Main TV right here with a built-in sound bar. Bluetooth as well, so you can stream off your smartphone, listen to your favorite music while you're cooking. Inverted plug as well, so I can hook up a espresso machine, a coffee maker, toaster, plug that in, turn on my inverter. Nice big counter area, absolutely, but nice storage area as well. So place here for cups, plates, and look how deep it is. Nice, big, deep, right? Because you have a small cabinet, but you can't put anything in it. It's a useless cabinet. So. Nice big cabinet. European hidden hinges. This is with our optional white Fenix uppers. So that's a nice little option to have. And you can see the beautiful curved door. Can you see the curved door? Absolutely beautiful. Locks in place, soft close, right? LED lights throughout the entire motorhome. Absolutely fantastic, dimmable as well. So down below, we need some more storage. Look at this. Utility area here for your cutlery. Look at this. Beautiful. This is our privacy curtain. This privacy curtain goes around the windshield on the inside of the windshield, right behind the seat. So you have nice privacy at night. Very nice. We also have full water filtration. So we filter all the water into the motorhome. And look how big these come out. And look at this soft close. Well, look at this big pot and pan drawer. Absolutely. Once again, soft close. That's where your sink cover can go. We got a places here for your dish cloths. And look at this, built-in garbage can. Absolutely. Very, very nice. Nice big area. Back in here, we have easy access to our water pump and easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So what would happen in this world if we did not have a pull-out pantry on a leisure travel van? Look at this, brand new redesign. Leisure travel van pull-out pantry. I love the new steel shelving logo built in. You can see this. I'm still on the Jenny Craig diet. I'm just gaining weight like crazy and I love it. So why not? It'll be 500 pounds by the next video I do. On the other side of the galley, we've got our beautiful convection microwave. So it's a microwave and it's also an oven. You can cook your chicken, pizza, bread. Why not? Absolutely fantastic. And new for 2024, we have our 
12 volt fridge. So I love this because it's got the freezer on the bottom. How cool is that? Beautiful freezer on the bottom and then our fridge up on the top, easy access, you know, nice and cold water. So it runs on 12 volt because a couple things, you don't have to be level anymore and the ambient outside temperature won't affect it as much as well as it used to be with a three-way fridge. So new 12 volt fridge on all wonders for 2024. Two separate living areas, front living area, and I can block this off and I have a private bathroom, a private bedroom area, big change area, a work area back here. Absolutely fantastic, that locks in place. So I have lots of privacy, but come on back here. Let's have a look at the sleeping area. You can see we've got our awning style windows here. Absolutely both sides, cross ventilation. I've got nighttime shades as well, lock in place. I mean, it feels super comfortable. Two twin beds, these come together, make into a queen bed. I'm gonna show you that. Headboards done in ultra fabrics, absolutely fantastic. I've got charging ports here, USB, USB-C charging ports. We need a sleep acne machine if you need that, absolutely gonna charge it. And right up here we have our beautiful Truma Aventa air conditioner, 13,500 BTUs. It is pin quiet. It can run off of a 15 amp circuit, which is absolutely fantastic, but you're gonna love how quiet it is when it is running. Cool's fantastic, so gonna keep you nice and cool on those hot days. Storage, look at this. Storage, absolutely fantastic. We've got LED lights back here. Once again, you can set, run them off your phone. You can dim them. We have cabinet lights built into the cabinets. I mean, just a beautiful, warm, warm feeling. This is the Rift Oak. Looks absolutely fantastic. Shelves, 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 shelves. Lots of storage area. I mean, I'm not a small guy, but look at this. Lots of room for Dean, absolutely. Right, I'm six foot one all day long. I can fit in here. Even when I get to 500 pounds, I'm gonna be able to lay on this bed, no problem. Or I can make it into a queen bed. So just slide this across. I can bring this bed up into here. Slide this over to here. Look at this. I've got a queen bed. Yes, I do. A beautiful queen size bed. I can sleep any which way I want. I can almost sleep this way. <laughs> like that. Why not? So a nice two twin beds, make into a queen bed. Absolutely fantastic. You can take the dining room area and move it to the back area. Right here, you can see with our lagoon table, it just locks in place like this. I can move the table around. I can have breakfast, dinner, supper in bed. Why not? I can use it as a computer desk. We can play cards at night. Absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. So nice little feature to have. So I can move the table from the front to the back. Oh, I love how much room we have here in this bed area. You know what I really like? The fact that I can sit up, use the headboard for support. I could read, work on my iPad, anything like that. I am lots of room. I'm not hitting a cabinet. I have lots of headroom. Plus I can watch TV, watch HBO at night. Absolutely right there. And look at this, beautiful. I love this. Look at the palm trees in the background. Once again, awning style windows, cross ventilation. I got nighttime shades built in. Absolutely fantastic, beautiful picture window. And then over to my left, I have inverted plugs. If you have a sleep apnea machine, you can plug it in right here. It'll run off of the, your inverter at night if you're dry camping, and uh, you can run it off the lithium batteries. We also have one of our secondary control panels. And I, I know I mentioned it a little earlier, but I can turn all my lights off, or I can turn all my lights on right off the control panel, or I can use my phone as well. And then I also have a charging port here, USB and USB-C charging ports. And of course, I got a little mirror here for dressing. And don't forget about Leisure Travel Van Clothing and check out our store on our website and you can get Leisure Travel Van Clothing. We have lots of great things, hats and cups. And when you're driving your Leisure Travel Van down the road, you can do it in leisure style. And look underneath the bed here. How is this for storage? Absolutely, look at this. Big storage area over there, hanging closet over here. And under this bed as well, hanging closet, storage area. Look at this, we can open this up. Nice big storage area. Also, there's our pure sine wave 2000 watt inverter. So it's right there as well. So nice big storage area. Storage is important. This motorhome has the most storage. Two twins pulled together, make queen, tons of storage underneath, lots of hanging closet, storage up above, storage up above, absolutely fantastic, but it feels huge. Two picture frame windows, awning style windows. Hey, I know when I wake up in the morning, it's toilet time. Ooh. A full-size bathroom, beautiful curved door, absolutely gorgeous. 
have a look at this. I have lots of room in the bathroom. So once again, this is a China toilet and it's a macerator toilet, which means that it grinds up all the solids and shoots them into the black water tank right here on this little button right here. And you can control the flow of water too on how much water you wanna use, which is really great. We have a plug-in, electrical plug-in right here. We've also got, I like this little feature here. I've got my dressing mirror, but I can block off the bathroom window. And I love the window for natural light, but if you're going to the bathroom and stuff and you want some privacy, you can just pull that across. That is very well done. Over here, we got a nice little medicine cabinet. I've got some shelves back here. And once again, you can see how much room I have in the motorhome. And once again, like a class B motorhome, I don't have to sit on the toilet to shower. I can actually use the toilet as a toilet area. And right here, you can see our full water filtration canisters right here, another little storage area countertop solid Corian absolutely fantastic this is the concrete we also do Antarctica we have a little sink here chrome faucet I like the accessory channel here for my toothbrush my toothpaste things like that and up above there I've got a couple fans on both sides I control them right here I can just turn the fans on turn the fans off so we're going to just turn this fan on look at that power is going to come up and the fan's going to start pulling all the air out of the motorhome and I mean it blows quick is it doing my hair can you see my hair it's going up in the air hey, I can just style my hair absolutely great we're in perfect sequence right now bathroom and then up to a beautiful stand up shower once again look at I can't even touch the top I'm up on my tippy toes I love this skylight absolutely fantastic lots of natural light you can see those beautiful palm trees up there I can turn completely around in it shower head is removable so I can do my feet why not? Absolutely. So place here for your shampoo, soaps, hot and cold running water, right? Don't forget, we got the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So when I turn the hot water on, it's hot. I love this. This is nice too. Little door here comes across, right? And it squeegees and all the water squeegees back in and out into my gray tank. Little handle here, LED light. Got a place here to dry hang my towels or wet hang my towels let them drip dry or my bathing suit things like that very very smart so you're going to love the stand-up shower so this is a two-piece dry bathroom really it's a three-piece bathroom but it's a split bathroom so i have a separate shower separate bathroom sink toilet everything the 2024 wonder rear twin bed it's got a little bit of everything two twin beds in the back make into a queen so you can have individual sleeping if you're going out with the girls or going out with the guys rv and you don't want to all sleep together because we got a bed up here too so i can sleep with three you can order the optional air mattress sleep four we have four seat belts it is a fun fun motorhome for people that are active and adventurous this is the floor plan and what powers this floor plan down the highway is the transit chassis with the EcoBoost 3.5 liter, 310 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. Come on, let's have a look at this chassis. It's absolutely fantastic. I love the Transit 350 HD chassis. We're gonna just lock it in place. Both chairs turn and swivel, and here we are. Look at this, this is like an iPad, 12 inch monitor system here. I can see right, I can see left, I can see everything in front of me. Hey, we're gonna have an in-depth look at the Ford Transit chassis that powers all of our Wonder Motorhomes. So let's start off with the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. 11,000 pound GVWR, 15,000 GCWR, 310 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. We pair that with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It also has auto start and stop technology, which is very nice. You can also order the chassis with optional all-wheel drive on the 10-speed transmission I've got little buttons here so I can upshift and downshift my transmission and still keep my eyes on the road so if you're going up a hill you can downshift a little bit and once you get up there you can put it back into the 10-speed overdrive transmission and let it roll down the highway lots of power I suggest that you set the cruise control and speaking of the cruise control you have got adaptive cruise control which is great because if somebody's slowing down in front of you it'll slow you back away from them we have tpms which is tire pressure monitoring systems you can see it up here on the screen it has electric power assisted steering i don't know if you've ever driven with that but you can almost drive it with your baby finger going down the road i don't suggest you do that but you want to have two hands on the wheel but it's super easy to drive i absolutely love it i love the 12 inch monitor and it's got sync 
4 on it. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, pretty simple to do. You've got lots of charging ports up here. This is my main plug here. So if I wanna plug in and use Apple CarPlay, I can do that right here. There it is there. So I've got now got Apple CarPlay, easy to use. And it feels like you have an iPad right there. It's very cool. So you can scroll through the different things. You can do your navigation. You can uh, get local restaurants. You can get gas station, things like that. Your phone is all set up in 3D. You can see here now, you can see exactly where we are, where we're going. And then you can go to the Ford. We also have some other settings here from Ford as well. You have different mobile apps. It also has built-in navigation, so you don't have to use the navigation system off your phone. You can use the uh, Sync 4 navigation system, which works great. Languages you can set, temperature units, you can go from kilometers to miles per hour. You can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Of course, we have air conditioning built into all of our motorhomes, which is all set up like they're all automatic. 12 volt charging port here, USB charging port here, USB-C charging port here, and another 12 volt charging port here. So lots of charging, lots of room in the cab too. We got our map lights right here for little lights, little storage areas up here. I absolutely love it. I love the handle for getting in and out of the motorhome. We also have tilt steering, telescopic steering, once again, power assisted electric steering, which is absolutely fantastic. We order all of our chassis with a 178 inch wheelbase. So you have less overhang between the rear wheels and the back of the motorhome. So less bounce, right? Lot smoother to drive, more stable, absolutely. And all the transit chassis come with four wheel disc brakes. We also have aluminum rims. We order directly from Ford. Both of our chairs turn and swivel. We order that option on all of our transit chassis, all done in all ultra fabrics. We redo these seats so they're super comfortable to sit in and drive down the highway. Ford has lots of safety features that they've added to the transit chassis that we order on all of our Wonder Motorhomes. It's got traffic sign assist built right into the dash so I know exactly what the miles are per hour in an area. We have Secure Lock, which is an anti-theft system. We also have active lane keeping assist with driver alert. So if you've been swerving out of your lane a few too many times, you're gonna get the old pull over, have a coffee, take a break, which is really important because, hey, you're RVing, we're in no rush to get anywhere. SOS post collision impact braking as well. Forward front collision warning, side wind stabilization. That's a great feature to have. It's very breezy here in Florida right now. So I love that feature. It'll break the motor home, keep everything under control, slow you down. Pre collision assist with automatic braking, which I really love, and post-collision braking as well. High intensity headlamps with auto high beam. We also have fog lights in the chassis. The black grille looks absolutely fantastic. We've also got rain-sensored windshield wipers. Very cool. So they'll automatically come on when it starts to rain. Two AGM chassis batteries for starting the engine. There's lots of little convenience features, you know, little cubby hole here. I love all the drink holders. There's a couple in the doors, drink holders here. Drink holders up here, another drink holder down here. Mirrors, which are heated, and I can adjust them over here. Power windows as well. Nice steering wheel, leather steering wheel, feels real good. I like the size of it. On the speedometer area here, you have some controls as well. So you can have your miles per hour. You can flip that over to kilometers too for our Canadian customers. It'll also show your fuel economy right there, current time, you know, how long you've been running the motor. You also have your controls for your phone if you want to make phone calls and stuff right here. You also have your adaptive cruise control setting right here, and of course, compass built right in. We also provide all of our new owners two years of roadside assistance. It's a 1-800 number. It has a concierge service. If you run out of fuel, if you lock out of your vehicle, they can come unlock you, get you back into the motorhome. That comes standard for the first two years. When you get your leisure travel, and even if you have one on order, join my LTV. We have walkthrough videos on how everything works in the motorhome, how the air conditioner works, how the toilet works, all manuals, product videos, everything, so you can be really knowledgeable. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions, plus you can join different travelers clubs as well. We have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place. Our photo contest that we do every year, which turns into our yearly calendars. We have some great prizes for that. All my LTV members have live chat access to our service advisors. So join my LTV and this red button right here, this is our subscribe to our YouTube channel button. So when you hit it, you'll automatically subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, I'm kidding, but make sure you do, but this is our hazard lights. If you wanna turn them off or on, that's what that red light does.
Oh, is that interior not beautiful? Two twin beds in the back, make into a king bed, dry private bathroom, lots of interior storage. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Hey, if you thought the inside was great, I can't wait to show you the outside of the Wonder rear twin bed for 2024. So by bringing the mirrors in, that gives you a little extra wiggle room to get inside to a tight camping spot. We've got our aluminum rims. We order those on all of our transit chassis from Ford. So aluminum rims are standard on all Wonder motorhomes for 2024. Beautiful little fiberglass step for getting in and out of the motorhome. And then our transition area, molded fiberglass that transitions from the chassis into the motorhome, our curved exterior wall. Now, small motorhomes usually have a tendency to not have any storage. That is the big problem, right? You got a class B van, there's no exterior storage, there's no interior storage. The wonder has got everything. A great combination of interior and exterior storage. Let's start off with this little storage area right here. You can see our beautiful fiberglass door. Look at the way that opens up. See that? Isn't that beautiful? This is called an EPDM rubber hinge seal, so you don't have any piano hinges or hinges of metal that will rust over time and you'll have rust marks on your paint. Look how beautiful that opens up. This is all galvanized sheet metal, super strong. Underneath here, put your hand underneath there. You can feel it's all spray foam. That way, when you have stones and debris when you're driving down the road, it's gonna be quieter. Also gives a little bit of insulation as well, lined. I love how we have the strut built into it so it's not gonna hit me on the back of the head. Just really well done. And we also have our own leisure travel van, what we call our switchblade key, which locks all of our compartment doors. But you can see how well done this is. Just absolutely beautiful. We have our main entrance door here. We're gonna open up this door. You can see we have our automatic step that comes out. Now, if you're at a camping area like we are now, you would turn that to camping mode or turn that off. And then when you close the door, the step stays down. That way you don't wear out your motor on your step. That's a really smart little thing to do. And don't panic when you turn on the key. If you have it on camping mode, the step will automatically go back up when you start the engine. So I like this too, we have our handle here all lit for getting in and out of the motorhome. You can see we've got our LED lights built into our awning. We also have another camping light right here, our exterior porch light. So you have some great LED lighting at night so you can get in and out of your motorhome and enjoy the great outdoors at night. And speaking of the great outdoors, let's look at this beautiful awning. We're gonna press the button one time and out it's gonna come. If it's a super windy day, you wanna leave your awning in. We don't want to lose an awning with gale force winds. And you can see how big the awning is. It's going to be almost 12 feet length and it's going to be about 7 feet in width. And see how smooth it is. Absolutely fantastic. That is very simple to do, easy to do. It also has a built in wind sensor so that in the event that a big gale force wind comes flying up, look at that. It's going to close itself. But once again, don't have the awning out if it's super windy. We don't want to lose an awning. This compartment has our standard 4 kilowatt generator. This is very important for our dry campers because now you're self-contained because this will produce 4 kilowatts of power. So it'll run your air conditioner, your microwave, it'll recharge two 100 amp lithium batteries standard on all Wonder motorhomes. You can go RVing anywhere. Next to our generator we have our quick connect for our barbecue right here. So if you've got an RVQ, you can hook into here, run it off the 13 gallon propane tank. So just plug it in right there. Another great option that you can get is the keyless entry for the door. It runs off the Ford key fob. So you can lock the door, okay? Or you can unlock the door and there you go. Runs right off the key fob. Beautiful curved wall. Nothing looks like a leisure travel van. Nothing looks like a wonder going down the road. And this is vacuum bonded. You hear that? Well, no matter where I hit it, it's the same sound, right? Because it's vacuum pressed. Boxed aluminum frame, two pound density polystyrene, Vetrolite exterior wall, vacuum pressed, curved. So super strong walls, roof and floor. And look at this paint. This is 
full body paint. See how smooth that is? You can't feel that, I can. Nice and smooth. Each color painted three times. Three times each color, two coats of clear, and we have eight different exterior colors. This is champagne. We also have silver, graphite, shadow, glacier, white suede, Eurosport, and Atlantic blue. Eight different exterior colors. And if you wanna see exactly how we build them, hey, check out the Leisure Factory Tour. We go through every part of the factory on how we build our motorhomes and nobody builds them like we do. You're gonna absolutely love it. So sign up. We've got our standard aluminum rims. We ordered those on all of our transit chassis. A total of four tires here at the back. So there's dualies at the back here. Up front we have two. So that gives us a total of six tires. So nice and stable when you're going down the road. You don't wanna have only four tires going down the road. You wanna have six. So the great thing about the all wheel drive chassis, you never know when you might be in a little tough situation that you need to get out of. Maybe it's poured rain, it's a little bit muddy optional all-wheel drive great to have especially with the rear twin bed where you have all that storage space to go RVing in. We spray foam all of our wheel wells so once again no damage can happen into the motorhome at all. It's also quieter when you're going down the road and I love our beautiful fiberglass fender skirt. This is going to be the big surprise and I'm talking hello surprise time. Jenny Craig doesn't matter I got lots of room as I come out through the motorhome. Surprise surprise Surprise, surprise. Yes, pass through storage. Look at the storage. Unbelievable. I can crawl through here. I am not the smallest guy in the world. I have a pullout. <laughs> I love it. Yes, pullout sliding tray. I love the pullout tray. If you've got uh, electric bikes or bicycles, mountain bikes, look at this. It pulls all the way out, but nice big exterior pull-out tray for my bikes, for my electric bikes, for my mountain bikes. Storage locked. Nobody can get at it. We've got some hooks in here and we also have some access panels back in here for some more storage on both sides and accessible from the inside as well. Right here we've got LED lights that uh, light up this area so you can find your stuff at night and we've also got a 12 volt charging plug here so if you have a little exterior freezer that you want to take with you you can plug it in there it'll charge and you can pull the freezer out on the tray we store our optional exterior table right here this little suitcase table briefcase table right folds up folds out adjustable legs look at this adjustable leg here right here into the motorhome there we go, so we can adjust the legs. This is actually very cool because now I've got a beautiful outside table for eating, breakfast, dinner, lunch. I've got my electric plug, outside plug here, so if you have an electric grill, you can plug it in there. Or once again, we talked about this. We also have our barbecue quick connect, so I can put my grill on here and I can barbecue. And if you do a lot of dry camping, here we go. You don't have to worry about bringing the table with you. We've already got the table. Okay, as we work our way around the motor home, we've got our beautiful molded fiberglass rear mass. You can see this is all molded fiberglass, fully insulated rear wall as well. You can see our backup camera. It runs off of our 12 inch monitor up front. So you've got that right up there, LED marker lights. We've got our beautiful leisure travel van badging. And then down here we have our class one receiver hitch, which has 200 pounds on the tongue and it can tow up to 2000 pounds on the rear twin bed. So very important, the Wonder rear twin bed can only tow up to 2000 pounds. Also we have our seven pin connector right here. Yeah, a great option is our exterior ladder. We have a two piece exterior ladder, so it locks into place like this. That way nobody can get on your roof when you don't want them to. And we can climb up here and have well, look what's up on the roof absolutely cool so I don't recommend you going up on the roof other than for cleaning you can see how beautiful the roof is you can see how everything is sealed up on the roof every single screw head once again this is a vacuum bonded roof so box aluminum framing vacuum bonded once again check out our leisure travel van factory tour video we show you how we build it all so optional 400 watts of solar you can go 200 or 400 this is a rigid panel 
Okay, that's what that is designed for. So you can have optional 200 watts or 400 watts. We have our skylight here. We also have our WineGuard 2.0. This is a Wi-Fi booster. It's also a TV antenna. This is our Truma 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Pin quiet, plus you can plug it into a 15 amp circuit and still run the air conditioner. Very cool. That's the roof on a Wonder RTV two-piece ladder. Very cool. Hey, we're over on the driver's side now and you can see once again the pass-through storage all the way through our gull wing door. Absolutely fantastic. This is where we store the optional second part of the ladder. Right here are two 100 amp lithium batteries that's standard on all Wonder motorhomes for 2024. So if you want to go dry camping, absolutely. Plus, the generator standard now so you can dry camp till the cows come home storage here for netting and hanging your power cable we order all of our transit chassis on the wonder motorhomes on a 178 inch wheelbase very long wheelbase very important more stable when you're going down the road but here have a look here very little overhang a lot of other manufacturers go with a very short wheelbase. You have tons of overhang, so now you've got a bounce factor when you're rolling down the road. 178 inch wheelbase, less bounce factor, very important. Here's our 30 amp power cord right here, plugs in. You can see this is all plugs right in there. Plugs in there, it can run everything when you're plugged into shore power at your uh, local campground area. Surge protector built in, prevents any bad electricity from coming into the motorhome and damaging any of our electronics. The sexy frameless glass windows opens up, so if it's pouring rain outside, I got ventilation, cross ventilation in this motorhome. We got mini me storage, yes. We got a beautiful little storage place here, great for a little toolbox if you like to fish fishing box goes in there strut so it's not going to hit you on the back head galvanized sheet metal spray foamed underneath same all the time this is our exhaust for our generator right there which is standard four kilowatt gas and then next we've got our outside service center this is how we fill up water dump our tanks which is everybody's favorite thing to do i like this because we have everything all located in one spot you don't have to fill up the water on one side dump the tanks on the other side right over here this is where we fill up the propane tank so the propane tanks filled up by a professional propane filler 13 gallons of propane they're going to fill that up for you right here this is our black water flush so this is if you want to clean your black water tank we also have an air chuck on here too if you want to blow out the lines in the motorhome as we work our way down here if you have a portable satellite dish you can plug it in there we also have an optional satellite dish it's called the t4 wine guard dish that you can order and uh, that goes up on the roof and then you can have satellite tv there that's a paid service dish direct or bell in canada if the campground has cable you can plug in your cable right there and when we're filling up the propane tank you would turn off the propane right there it's a remote uh, turn off switch or if you're going on ferries uh, some tunnels you have to turn it off as well Right here we have our optional macerator pump. It's right here. It's a nice little option to have because everything is all connected. So I would bring this out, I'd put it into the dump station, I would take this bag off and then I would plug this in like this and then I can dump my tank. So you always dump your black water tank first, then your gray. You would uh, turn on the pump, it would pump it all out. Now. Very important, you see this little knob here? Make sure that that's off. If you've ever seen the movie RV, that's what can happen. So make sure you take that little knob off there. We always include the three inch dump uh, hose right here. So you never have to worry about dumping your tank. So the black tank dumps first and then the gray water kind of cleans it. Black water valve is right here. Gray water valve is right here. Here's our water pump switch. That's really nice. We have a inside water pump switch. We have two of them and an outside water pump switch. Use your exterior shower right here. So this is very nice. Just clips in here. And now I've got hot and cold running water. Great if you have little pets, you wanna wash their feet. You've been down at the beach all day. I can wash my feet off before I go in the motorhome. People that do uh, fishing, they'll actually clean their fish outside. And then when I wanna fill up my fresh water tank, I can open up this little spot here and I can run my garden hose. And right here I have my switch for my tank. So I have my water tank or I have pressure. So when I wanna fill up my water tank, I turn it over this way. It's gonna fill up, don't panic. When it overfills a little bit, it'll drain onto the ground. And that way you know that your fresh water tank is completely full. Or if you're camping where you have a full campground service where we have fresh water right at our campsite, I would then turn it over to city water right here, this valve here. And then I can run the water throughout without turning on my water pump. Over here we have our winterizing bypass valve which I'm going to do there. And speaking of that, we've got a nice little 
RV antifreeze pickup hose, or we call this our pickup hose, because it can do a couple different things. Number one, in colder climates, not here in Florida, where I'm going to winterize the motorhome, I can get a jug of antifreeze, turn on my valves, can turn on my water pump, and I can suck up the antifreeze through the water lines. Or if I'm dry camping a lot and I have a big jug of water and I want to put that into the freshwater tank, I can suck up that water into the freshwater tank off this hose. Once again, everything located all in one area. We've got our 16,000 BTU propane furnace to keep the motorhome nice and warm on cooler days. And then of course our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater once again runs on propane. This is the best hot water heater in the industry. 60,000 BTU output. So what's very cool about this, you have two modes, Eco and Comfort. When you have it on Eco, it does not heat this little one liter uh, tank right here. When you have it on Comfort, it keeps this nice and warm so that we have individual water lines running to the sink, to the bathroom, and to the shower area. So when you turn on that water, it's instant hot water. As it uses up that hot water in this tank, heat exchangers get super hot, and you have instant, unlimited hot water when I'm plugged into shore water. The Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, the best hot water heater if you wanna have a nice, hot shower. Again, our beautiful curved wall. You can see our integration of our fiberglass into the chassis. Once again, keeps the look of the motorhome fantastic. We have our little light there. Once again, over here for our fuel, right? This is a gas engine, right? So you can fill up your gas. You don't have to worry about any fumes going in the motorhome. Also then when you close it, nobody can tamper with your gas. I love the step for getting in and out. We got our courtesy light once again there. Heated mirrors slide in. And this is under 10 feet exterior height. Under 10 feet, seven feet, 11 inches wide. And we're only 24 feet, nine inches total length. You can take this motor on pretty much any provincial, federal, state park, anywhere that there is here in North America. And you can see here's our beautiful molded fiberglass. Once again, full body paint fully insulated, a very distinct look. You can see a leisure travel van coming down the highway for miles. If you're adventurous and you're active, this is the floor plan for you. 2024 Wonder Rear Twin Bed. We have indoor storage inside the motorhome, so you don't have to worry about anybody stealing your electric bikes, your inflatable kayaks, your golf clubs, all that great stuff. You can put it inside the motorhome, lock it in. We have sleeping for up to four people with the optional air mattress, seat belts for four, dry bathroom, stand up shower. So you've got lots of storage inside, lots of storage outside make sure you check out your local leisure travel van dealer and get one of these for yourself and go RV because 2024 is gonna be a great year to RV hey want to thank everybody for watching our videos bang the bell there and subscribe to our YouTube channel we appreciate everybody that watches our videos make sure that you get down to an RV show and see leisure travel vans in person and you can build and price a wonder rear twin bed yourself you can pick all your colors you can pick all your different options and it'll give you a price Dean from leisure travel van Make sure you check out the Wonder Rear Twin Bed for 2024. I'm going to go catch my bird. Pete, Pete, where are you, Pete? Petey, 